Hello friends, welcome back. There's another infantry guy. Okay. Two more coming. Uh, where was that uh, soldier that did a good job distracting, distracting the other one? Let's keep doing it because it makes no sense to go and try to scout Ixians here because uh, we'll sooner die from a random water stealer than uh, reach that spot. Okay, now this city is done. Let's help, um, let's help this worker build spice harvesters. Once we reach size 6 I think we should be able yeah, there are no other moisture tiles to work and grow. Uh, we could build uh, we could build uh, something here, but I'd rather work um, a spice harvested plot for extra research. We need to we need to beeline for education SAP. Um, the house library lets us run to scientists and get a great scientist for um, for an academy. Uh, that's 35% bonus research from the academy and 25% uh, bonus research from the house library. It would also be good to land the film book archives. It's very strong if you can land it. This symbol over here, it's only buildable by the uh, Bene Gesserit and this thing makes them OP. Uh, we'll, we'll look at that sometime later when we play Bene Gesserit to come across them as, a, as an opponent. And yeah, does a trade to connect the ore to speed up the film book archives. So looking at uh, at the AI uh, that we are up against, uh, orders will probably be our first enemy. They will so they are here. That's their capital. They will settle this small um, area and they will look to wage war. And the AI is pretty aggressive. So they will uh, they will settle this uh, and uh, unless unless they look to expand here or they get busy fighting Clay Laxo, they will look to declare war on us. That means we just come for them. Ultimately, because Ixians seem to have so much territory to themselves, just because uh, house riches um, spawned on a small island. And it took them a while to expand. They are even doing worse than us, and that's deity. Ixians have all that land to themselves. Like, what's that like? It's one fourth of the map, one fourth of the rough tiles. And they'll destroy the barb cities eventually and take over them. So, house orders would be our first target, just because they're close. And I don't actually think we should take them out. Hopefully they found Chom and we can get the, the Chom Holy City for the awesome uh, Chom um, Holy Building. Well, you call it a holy building, although Chom is not exactly a religion, it's a mercantile thing. And then probably we're gonna plow through house riches into, into these guys. So, do we make any friends? Probably we make friends with our sister. Yeah, although she is an abomination by lore, um, that means probably she will eventually, and you know, eventually in this game, all the AI tend to declare war on you, especially because I don't see any of them following the Arrakis Paradise Civic. And following this Civic and building the special buildings that help us terraform Arrakis, they will aggravate all the other AI that choose the Eric is spice path, and they will definitely do it. But for 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 a while, we can stay friendly with House Atreides. Yeah, that is probably it. I don't see any long-lasting good relations with anybody else. Well, he's liking us because he's in the same religion, and she's liking us because we're small. Yeah, Tleilaxu, we are the worst enemy. The AI can go all the way uh, through Ordos territory and try to attack us, but it's early. They won't do this. 
And if they try, they, they cannot do anything efficiently just yet. And by that time, hopefully, our smarts <laughs> and, um, and uh, the thing that we are framing will help us. So we are actually going... Um, so, yeah, the, the way the AI does things is that uh, orders um, will go towards Choam. That means the attack path is going to be towards great houses. So you don't need education for that. So they're not going to build, um, build that ahead of us. But um, but the house Carino, governed by Princess Erlen, our wife, is going after the imperial religion, and that tra Atreides are probably doing the same. And that means these two can build the film book archives. And Atreides, I guess, if I remember correctly, they have ore. So yeah, we need to beeline this SAP. Okay. Yeah, enough talking. How many yes. soldiers do we just do? So we yes. have to wait for this one. Okay, it's ready. Yeah, you want to work the style. I'd rather have you grow faster. So see, um, we're shipping in one spice that gives us... Uh, plus two and the base uh, palace yield is eight um, commerce so now it's ten it is done. all right let's do another one there they come okay we can allow ourselves another city and this city over here will be pretty good so the thing with the uh, groundwater wells is when you build them, you supply fresh water to all the tiles, like a river supplies fresh water in standard C4. And then when you build cottages, which we will look to do, cottages get a plus one commerce from that. So this city will get uh, two bonus tiles. This city will get a lot more, like one, two, three, four, this one. So this city and this city will be our uh, secondary research and commerce cities. And this one will produce something like spies, I don't know, maybe a few defender units. And uh, then we'll think about settles on, on this island. Alrighty. Okay, come to Papa. And just as the cities grow in size, the maintenance goes up. So now we only have plus one gold. Should we build a refinery? And once we get uh, another pop, yeah, that's a bad idea actually. A refinery is a pretty strong building as it gives us 25% uh, more gold. At this point in the game, it won't help us too much, just one measly gold. But once we settle more great profits and um, change the research slider, uh, this cheap building and the other buildings after that in this kind of um, gold line will be pretty, pretty darn good. Okay, one more infantry after that. So right now we don't have the health to do that. So what a transportation for the groundwater wells, right? Sandstorm damage our soldiers, okay. Okay, we can have uh, three more units. You see, we cannot enter. Uh, we cannot enter deep desert. Is that deep, deep desert? Right, that's deep desert. Uh, we may need steel suits for that. Yeah. We may need that. So actually the steel suit is a kind of tech that um, you need to have 
to kind of survive on Dune, uh, because the land is so hot. Now, what do we do now? I'm, uh, I'm not keen building a groundwater well here because the moisture may uh, um, may uh, spoil the spice here. It may go away, and it will go away eventually. See, if you remember, there was a patch here. Now, all left is just one one small um, remnant over here. Let's improve the ore. Uh, so what was I saying? Yeah, the steel suits. So you cannot survive on this planet just by being the normal yourself because uh, your water evaporates and you have to take precautions, take measures that the water does not evaporate into the atmosphere. So for the Fremen who move in the desert a lot, they ride the sandworms and uh, you know, they're like the nomads to some extent. Uh, steel suits are, you know, their second skin and they have to wear it at all times. So, but by the game design, they are over here. Uh, okay, okay. Yeah, also, by the way, when you watch the movie, and I'm referring to the older movie, of course. Okay, so the, stand, the sandstorm destroyed this thing. And now... And now if we grow, we'll be... Okay, we can we can work that, that's fine. Naive. It is done. Yes? Righty. It is done. Um, so when you watch the old movie, um, Fremen look like uh, kind of uh, you know fanatical, backward, um, uh, ah, a wreckage habitation in five, and we can improve health. No, I think we still need a settler. And uh, but you you think like and and the yeah and the way they are in the in the a movie is you think they're kind of agrarian, not very clever, not very smart. Uh, but in fact, to survive in the desert, you need to be very smart and you have to have lots of advanced stack. Uh, you have to have the steel suits um, and the best of them. You need to learn how to capture moisture. Uh, and well, the, the other things that are not too nice, but you have to do that to survive in the desert and make sure your tribe survives. Uh, sandstorm, right? Okay. Um, they, they are actually very advanced. Um, they are very... Um, they are very xenophobic, I'd say. They, they like to... Um, to hide themselves from the world and no people really understand how advanced they are and yeah from the book for example I remember they have special tents so they can actually travel the the, um, the desert and they can they can stop here so they have special tents they install and they, even if there's a sandstorm they're completely buried in sand the tents they still keep the keep them safe and they don't bend and yeah, there, there's so much stuff going for them. So we're going to live up. Okay, where did he found that city? Doesn't show. Doesn't show it. It may be going uh, towards this uh, landmass, and that will make it easier for us. Instead of building settlers, just get ready cities. Okay, we're not finished with you. So we're going to make up for. Uh, but to leave up to leave up to that uh, by um, by going um, the film book archives first hopefully education also lets us res uh, lets us trade tax so we'll be able to see if anybody has that nobody has that already uh, so yes yeah, since uh, first impression is a losing one our sister doesn't like us for some reason um, yeah. It's a shame that, uh, you know, 
uh, in the book, well, uh, Paul Modib, um although she marries her, I think she never consummates the marriage. Um, and just look at her, she, she's very pretty. But uh, she has a concubine, uh, he has, Paul has a concubine, and um, he loves her a lot. So he makes a promise to her not to be with another woman. Right, we can do that. Great profit. No thanks. We don't need a great profit. Now let's uh, let's get ourselves a bit more moisture. Yeah, we can have uh, two more uh, two more improvements here. Because, um, well, the Temple of the Maker may seem like a pretty small building, but when you have two of them, you can build the upgraded version uh, or up upgraded um, Shai Hulud building that, that gives you a 10% bonus. And yay, we just finished the World Wonder. Still, top th uh, we're still third from the bottom, but we're getting there. Okay, yeah. That thing. Wadib, it is done. Now this worm doesn't care. Yeah, we can move this guy out. Next, next turn. Yeah, the scent storm can kill us actually. It immobilizes us. Okay, it's a nice, nice tech. Harkonnen that get their repression civic, but we cannot use them. We're not Harkonnen. We can build nice cottages. They are as strong as in basic C4, and they are the way to go if you go Arrakis Paradise. But most importantly is this cheap building, uh, which doubles the base health. The base health is two. Easily health. So that's what we'll do in this city. And in this city, because we still need it to grow. In terms of defense, we're doing good. Yeah, let's, let's be safe. Okay, that other guy went away. When are we growing? Six turns, then we can uh, we can build a spice harvester here. Right? Yeah, we should we should yes. get it in the culture borders. Okay. It is done. I'll use this soldier to um, dance with the sandworm. Uh huh. Just in time. He's obviously trying to sneak and uh, destroy the spice harvesters. Uh, yeah, we cannot help and uh, not generate the great profit. And um, yeah, we need to get education SAP and start producing uh, great scientists. It should be the first uh, great person we get. Okay. Yeah, shipping this to Spice and working this style, it's very nice. Once the clinic is out, we can also relocate relocate a pop and work that thing Wadib? Uh -huh. Naive. just do a little bit of scouting Wadib? yeah um When is the spice? Yeah, I guess this sandworm won't us uh, get um, spice harvester here. So let's get a wind trap. It is done. Naive. Guarding that heal as well. Ok, 
Okay, he's, he's going away. Something's distracting him. It's pretty good. Okay, anybody can trade tag? No, not yet. Doing good. Alright, so this is, this is where I don't think our infantry can, uh, can protect us over here. Yeah, so infantry don't have the um, Sand Rider promotion, so they cannot defend us in the desert. And if there's a Water Stealer here, he can sneak up like that. So the biggest threat are water stealers, so let's get this uh, anti-melee fighters thing. Yeah, let's lead him all the way into count riches. So how, how about spice? Oh damn, Ixians live up to their big land thing. Five, five spice harvested. The Alexa is still at 2. Yeah. Ixians are going to be a problem in this game. Somehow, uh, somehow, the wife is leading. Is it a territory? Right, how's Carino? She has good territory. That's also a health resource. Okay. Naive. It is done. Wadib, be the kaif. Yeah, we need more workers as well, but we don't have time to build them. Probably killed the Thopter, damaged by a Sandstorm, that's why it's 1.5, yeah. Yeah, we need more workers. Let's build them here. Clinic, uh, clinic, worker, it's fine, it's in time to get education. So, how about tech trading? Still not full. Yeah, there's a border. There's a border, so what's first for us? Well, this city is going to grow nicely. Let's get a death steal. Minus four gold, but uh, that's fine. So what is she thinking about us? Doesn't look like she cares. Okay. Nice, now we are healthy. How about four turns? Yeah, that's better. Okay.
Nice, nice. Play all Axon Master. Alright, that's uh that's a great profit equivalent. Not quite sure how exactly it's better than uh than uh than a basic uh, great profit. Well we'll see in time. Okay, now the question is, do we build another one? And the answer is yes. Okay, she gets Shai Hulud, that makes her friendly. We'll be following this religion for a while, so... Yeah, I still think uh, we're gonna get tensions with her rather than with Playlaxo. Although Playlaxo may decide to go against her. Is that top spot? Okay, okay. Let's do nine. Yeah, if you're a standard civilization and you like non Fremen and you don't have um, the Sand Rider guys, um, it's very hard sometimes when the two sand, sand worms just park themselves and like sit here moving like um, top and bottom. And now you can't even move in, build those spice harvesters, move out and let them eat them and disappear because they'll just eat your workers. Okay. All right, we got the tech. Does it trade one forty four? Um, yeah, you will follow Shai Hulud if I give you that. You'll get the spreader, Sayadina. We can trade. We can get the ore then. Agreed. Um. Well, yeah, we don't need you as an enemy just yet, so you can have that. It's a cheap tech. And we enter another era. So this is our sandworm. You look at the size of the guy. Coiling, coiling there. The sandworms actually produce spice. Yeah, breeding project such a killer thing. All right, so we got our house library and film book archives. We get ore shipped in. Now let's rush this thing. We can grow. We can grow. We get the same the same production over here. Does a train? That's that's what we needed as the as a research after that. So what do we do now? What do we do now? Now a big thing is divine mandate. This gives us a second religion, and this gives us um, the right. The right. Is it theocracy? All right, that's the thing. It gives a uh, plus twenty-five percent uh, building construction. Although it's a high upkeep civic, so it's like uh, most of the stuff we're going to build in our cities are going to be buildings for a very long time. Extra XP point for our units, and Mahdi is a sort of religion that gives you XP um, towards units depending on how many of your cities follow it. So this makes it very strong. It will also spread automatically. It does not have a spreader unit, but uh, uh, so it will kill Shai Hulud everywhere, except the capital, I think, because it's a holy city, and we'll have to turn into it, and uh, that will make Roma Tani 
unhappy and some other other guys but yeah so that's our 25 percent production bonus basically um, the other thing are steel suits early moisture seals for growing faster uh, steel suits for working extra spice harvesters and a Chris nice fighter that actually protects us from water stealers so Chris and I fighters are a unique basically it's a unique Fremen unit because you need Fremen water debt to build them and uh, yeah you, you usually don't trade it to anyone unless it's a multiplayer game and you have a body on a team and the Chris knife um, Chris knives they're special knives made out of uh, sandworm fangs and they are kind of sacred uh, sacred weapons so if the guy if the Fremen guy pulls it out uh, that means he's going to kill somebody all right oh but you know the unit itself is it's not very good the other thing is that Mahdi religion gives a Mahdi zealot and no uh, maintenance unit which is two points stronger a little bit slower but the same cost yeah so think about that then we have desert plantation extra moisture on our dew collectors and then uh, what can we build we can uh, we can build this coffee thing and we can build the cereal so yeah then eventually it's uh, water economy for extra moisture to water traps and mushtamal for extra health so lots of good choices right lots of good choices so I think um, uh, let's let's actually see what what those guys are going for anybody has fanaticism no way she does she has fanaticism is she going towards Marty she usually goes toward feudalism a fanaticism yeah, I think we, we have to beeline this. We have to beeline this just because um, Elia, Elia is going for it. And yeah, they don't wanna they don't wanna trade anything, so it, it doesn't make any sense to be um, on friendly um, to, to be on friendly terms. So we're going into Mahdi. Going Mahdi means you're you're very safe against um, what are we doing? This here, right. we're safe against uh, invasions. Six strength is pretty good early on. All right. Um, now, what does that mean? Now, in a normal game, I would um, do this and stash gold and start rolling. Um, rolling a hundred percent once the house library is there for for the research multiplier but because Elia is going towards Mahdi yeah we have to do that but uh, yeah we'll see that uh, in the next episode I hope we can get that religion and another great profit see you in the next one